Hi, welcome to the second episode of History in 7 Facts. In this show, we'll explore some of the most interesting things that we know or not know about our own past. In the first chapter, we'll explore some of the things we know about the origins of human beings, and in today's episode, we'll take a look at why we are the only species of humans that survived on Earth. Ready? Okay, let's begin. Scientists have long suspected that we, Homo sapiens, didn't just evolve from one species to another, but rather our evolution also led to other human species. And today, through the discoveries of new fossils and advances in genetics, we know for sure that, for a while at least, we weren't the only humans on Earth. We've already talked a bit about the Neanderthals, so if you wish to find out more about them, I suggest you go back and watch the previous episode. But Neanderthals weren't the only humans that have lived with us. Now, as far as we know, Homo sapiens evolved in a small region in East Africa. As the population grew, it expanded and gradually replaced other human species, not necessarily by genocide, but through competition for food, shelter, resources and territory. This is basically the out of Africa hypothesis, and for the most part, it checks out with our fossil records. There's just one tiny little problem. Different human species have coexisted on Earth for millions of years, but now we are completely alone. The question is, why? About 2 million years ago, the first truly nomadic groups started to develop in Africa. These people were tall, strong, with long legs and round hips and smooth hairless skin. They were able runners and developed a taste for meat. And they were curious species. Their physique enabled them to expand into different landscapes and expand they did, from Africa to Europe and the Middle East and then onwards to Asia. These people were the Homo erectus. And they didn't look that different from us. They were, however, different. And while modern humans were spreading with force, Erectus and many other humans were fading away. Homo erectus had a very long run. They existed for at least 20 times longer than us. But although they managed to colonize a good chunk of Earth, their way of life didn't evolve too much. They were basically stuck in the Stone Age for 2 million years. We have no evidence that they discovered fire or have anything more than rudimentary tools. Furthermore, they appear to have had no culture, no art, no religion and no customs. And this might be the key reason why they lost the evolutionary game. But don't be too quick to judge them. With a relatively stable environment, to which they were already suited, they had no need and thus weren't constrained to develop new skills, so they just went on living as they always did. While Homo erectus was doing what it has always done to survive, somewhere in East Africa a new kind of human was starting to take shape, Homo rhodesiensis. These folks were almost modern humans, with a much larger brain, and today they are widely regarded as our most recent direct ancestor, although this is still up for debate. As they further transformed into the modern humans we know today, they, or we, spread through Africa, Eurasia, Australia and eventually the Americas. What most likely happened next is evolution in its simplest, cruelest form. Homo sapiens were more intelligent, cooperative and creative than Homo erectus, so they basically outwitted their contemporary brethren, having the upper hand in fights, hunting, planning, technology, resource management and population growth. All the while, erectus was slowly pushed to the side and eventually went extinct. 
how and why we were the most successful species of humans is still not yet fully understood. But consider this. All humans descend from a single small group of people from Africa, and all humans today that are not from Sub-Saharan Africa descend from another group of no more than 150 people that later managed to migrate out of Africa. With these tiny populations, we've managed to become the single most dominant species that have ever existed on Earth. We do know that Homo sapiens and Homo erectus didn't coexist in the same place. There are no common settlements or burial grounds. What we don't know is how they related to each other. Did they wage wars or interbreed, or both? There might be some genetic traces that may prove that we've mingled with each other, like with the Neanderthals, but this is yet to be proven and more research is needed. So, for approximately 100,000 years, the two species coexisted, or rather tolerated each other. While the extinction of the Neanderthals is still up for debate, in the case of Homo erectus, it seems that we, modern humans, were the ones that directly or indirectly drove our brethren into extinction. And when they disappeared, along with the other species, for the first time in history, there was only one humankind on Earth. But don't be too cocky. It's clear, without a doubt, that we were not the only possible outcome of human evolution. You'll often hear about the missing link in human evolution, that elusive species that shows us how we evolved throughout the eons. But we're actually not talking about one missing link, but rather 20. That's a rough estimate of how many species are missing from our evolutionary chain, from the time we've separated from our ape cousins to this day. We've found many fossils that show us the immense diversity of our primate world, but still there are many unknowns. One thing's for sure. Probably the most famous remains of a hominid, the Australopithecus lucy, is not one of our ancestors. Her lineage gave birth to other species that eventually went extinct, species that for a while coexisted with Homo erectus and other members of the Homo genus. The truth is that we are still missing far too many pieces of this puzzle to have the complete picture of the story of humans. Thank you for watching this episode of 7 Facts. I hope this was interesting and informative and maybe it even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you liked this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. While you're downstairs, let me know what you think about this video. Please consider visiting my Patreon page and become a patron. The link is in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.